Hi, my name is Tim Sexton, also known as Tim Balls, and this is my Hand of the King Wizard Mode submission on Game of Thrones Pinball. Before I get to the run, I'd like to address camera setup as well as explanation and the way that the run could be presented. First, I will talk about camera setup. With cameras, you can have both the playfield and scoreboard as one camera, but it is better to have them as two cameras. And what we use is a rotated camera so that it is 480 pixels tall, which leaves 275 pixels of width. And then we have a separate webcam that looks at the scoreboard of the game to give you more information. These can both be fit into one shot, but typically because there's so much real estate on the screen when rotating a camera like that, people do them as two different cameras. As far as the overhead camera rig, Pinball Joe would be able to provide his camera rig so that we could film the playfield while we were there, and he would instead use something like a boom mic stand to stand in during their stream. It would not be an issue, and the SGDQ stream would take priority. As far as pinball machines go, Joe owns a Game of Thrones Pro pinball machine and would be able to bring it to SGDQ from Maryland, and it would not be difficult to locate another pinball machine as Game of Thrones is an extremely popular title and plenty of them are out there. As far as game setup goes, four people from the Pinball Done Quick team will be able to lift and hoist the game onto the stage and help set it up. All that really requires is leveling and a few basic tests to make sure the shots feel alright. This should take no longer than 5-10 to 10 minutes. To be entirely marathon safe, we will only change a few things. First, we will make it a 10 ball per game game, which makes it virtually impossible for a player like Kevin or myself to lose. Second, we will put the in-lane post as easy as they possibly can be set as far down on the playfield, which will be done prior to setting up on stage. Third, we will make the tilt fairly liberal and loose so that we do not run the risk of tilting when we're trying to save balls, which allows us to go much faster and make actually much cooler looking saves than it would if we were not to do that. Now I will be covering specifics of how we will explain the run prior to the run actually starting. During the run, either myself or Kevin will be playing and the other player will be commentating. The commentating player, either myself or Kevin, has expert knowledge about the game and will understand every situation that happens in the game. The reason Game of Thrones has been chosen in particular is because of how easy it is to understand the information as provided in the middle of the playfield. First, we'll be going over some basic vocabulary about the game. There are flippers, slingshots, orbits, ramps, the dragon shot, the right targets, the left drop targets are all the topics that we will need to cover for the run. A very brief overview will then be spent on how the game works. There are houses that you have to battle to get to the wizard modes. You have to beat four houses to get to Hand of the King wizard mode. You have to beat all seven houses to get to Iron Throne wizard mode. But Targaryen is actually three different levels of house. That's the only hiccup. You can either be lighting houses or you could be battling them. Once you've battled a house, it indicates it on the playfield and you can no longer play that house. We will then explain how the Hand of the King run works. Hand of the King is set in stone as it's exactly 22 shots to get to Hand of the King in its fastest possible setup. The exact run is figured out and we will be starting by choosing House Baratheon on the plunge. We will then be lighting Stark with three shots to the right ramp, Martell with three shots to the right orbit, and Greyjoy with three shots to the left orbit. Following that we will play up to two modes at a time which is the max the game allows. We will be playing Baratheon with Greyjoy which requires three shots for Baratheon and five shots for Greyjoy, two of which can be combined, followed by Martell and Stark, where Stark is three shots to the center ramp, Martell is three shots to an orbit, and then it finishes on a center ramp, which starts Hand of the King, and that's when we call time. Here's the start of the run. This is a Game of Thrones Pro model machine, which is what we will be using because it's a faster machine. I start with choosing House Baratheon. I plunge the ball softly to get the ball to feed to the flipper faster, and I then take a backhand shot at the Stark ramp. I follow that with a shot to the right orbit to light Martell. I actually get a second hit there, which saves me a shot. I backhand Stark again, so now I have two shots each on Stark and Martell. I miss a shot here, which is happening and will happen. I get control. I shoot for Greyjoy. I miss. Still out of control. I shoot the Greyjoy shot again. I need two shots left on Greyjoy to light it, one Stark left, shot left on Stark, and one shot left on Martell. 
The yellow shield in the middle is Brathian, which is already flashing because I selected it for free at the beginning of the game. You only get one chance to do that. Stark is now flashing as well. The white insert on the middle. And that ramp has become a neutral color. This is a mistake here. I shoot up the middle, so I pass on my modes. I get the ball feed back down. Greyjoy is now lit with the purple insert there. And the only shot I need left to light is Martell. Now all four of the shots, the modes I need are lit. And now I shoot up the center ramp to choose my battle. I can play up to two houses at the same time. I've memorized that it's eight button presses to the right to play Baratheon with Greyjoy. I start with a left orbit shot and I miss, but I catch it very quickly. A left orbit shot followed by a dragon shot there. And I will end Baratheon by shooting the left drop targets. For Greyjoy, I need to shoot the three remaining shots. I backhand the right ramp there, shoot the left orbit. And by finishing on the center ramp, I actually save myself a shot and I can go right into Stark plus Martell. Those two modes are solidly lit, so now they're completed. Stark and Martell, the only two remaining. This is three center ramps, followed by three orbit shots. So one, Stark is now completed, two orbit shots, I need one more orbit shot, and a little nudge there to get the ball under control. Now I'm just waiting for my pop bumper RNG. You can avoid pop bumpers with combos, which is a way we can play faster. And I shoot it up the center, and that lights Hand of the King, which is that yellow insert flashing. That's the full run, and in an absolute worst case scenario, that would take six minutes. This time here is 227, which is the second fastest run of all time behind Osric's 218, which is the current world record.